Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mythical, and today we're going to be talking about mid-side EQ, using your linear phase EQ that comes stock in Logic Pro, and if right now you are confused or do not know how to use the mid-side function within your EQs in Logic Pro, we're going to clear that up. So, in front of me, I have a track that I've produced. It's a symphonic metal track. There's a lot of things going on in regards to, like, orchestra, choirs, guitars, drums, uh, all the orchestral percussion. So there's a lot of elements, but I feel like some of the drums are buried underneath everything, and we're going to use the mid-side function to bring that out and maybe bring out some air in the guitars uh, and maybe balance out the mix using this mid-side function. So let's just give this track a listen and go from there. Okay, let's get right into it. So let's go to our stereo out channel, go to the EQ dropdown, find linear phase EQ, and we're gonna double up on them. Logic does not allow uh, mid-side processing in one EQ instance, so we have to use two of them. So that's why it's important to use them only on buses and in a, ma in a mastering phase. So um, it doesn't matter which one is on top, whether it be side or mid, but um, what Logic is offering us as far as processing goes is the entire stereo field, the left side only, right, mid, and side. And I'm gonna choose side for the top and mid for the bottom. And I'm just gonna mute the mid side here, or the mid, and I'm gonna only affect the sides, meaning the, the left and the right signals. And I think I want to bring out some of the guitars. So let's play this thing at, the, at its heaviest part and let's try to bring out some of that air in both guitar and cymbal. And it's unfortunate that Logic doesn't um, allow you to solo the bands while you do this. I hope that in a future update they do. So I'm just doing a frequency sweep. Let's try it right there. A little goes a long way. You can really hear the air and the cymbals when I crank that gain. So I'm just gonna leave it maybe at like 1 dB. I'll do 2 at 1600 Hertz. Now we will introduce the mid and mute the sides. Okay. So now I want to actually bring out some of the kick and possibly some of the snares. So let's give this a play. You can see immediately where the kicks are. I'm really just going to emphasize that frequency band here. All that thump. Okay. Let's find that snare. Let's 
reintroduce the sides. I'm also going to filter out the low end here. Okay, let's do a quick A, B here. All right. So linear phase, both of them are off. On. Back on again. I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you want to stay up to date with more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks, I do multiple videos every single week. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date. Otherwise, if you liked the video, hit that like button and if you disliked it, well hit that dislike button. Otherwise, I will see you later.